Okay, so I couldn't find anything on the internet about how to fix your monitor if AMD graphics or AMD uh, Radian settings ruins it. Uh, no one else seemed to be having this problem, so I'm posting it up on here for those of you who think that AMD destroyed your monitor and now you have to get a new monitor. And that's not the case. What happened is I went to AMD Radian settings. I got this little notification that I can show you here. AMD Radian settings has detected that one or more high DPI panels are connected to your system. Enabling virtual super resolution will increase your resolution and allow you to customize your DPI settings. So I was like, great, because I love playing with settings. So I went to my display, I hit virtual super resolution, and boom, there went my display. It went black, it would not recognize anything. All I got was a little icon that said input not supported. And I was so frustrated because I could not get it to work. If this has happened to you, don't panic. There is a solution. However, you are going to have to either buy or acquire uh, a couple things. One, you're going to either need a new monitor or you could use an HDMI cord if your monitor supports that. Or if your monitor has a VGA outlet in the back of it, you can get a, a DVI to VGA adapter, plug that in and then do everything off the VGA. So when your screen goes black, you won't be able, if you were using DVI at the time that you did the settings, you're not going to be able to use your DVI cord at this point. Um, in order to restore that though, what you'll have to do is like is either hook up your monitor through HDMI or VGA or with a VGA adapter. And then you're gonna to go to Windows, you can go to Settings, and you're going to go to uh, system where is it let's see you're gonna to go to the updates and security okay and then when you when you do that you're gonna to go to uh, recovery and you're gonna hit advanced startup I don't I'm not gonna hit it now because I think it's gonna disable if I hit this button it's going to disable uh, what I'm recording right now so if you want more in this what this does is it basically boots its Windows 10 version of a safe mode and before, on older computers, to enter safe mode, you usually hit like F6 or F8 on the computer during your BIOS screen, and that usually get, gave you the option of loading into safe mode. Um, with Windows 10, it's a little different, and it's a little less useful in my opinion, but you actually have to have a working version of Windows 10 uh, in order to get into safe mode. Or I read, I think online, that you can get into safe mode um, if you have a... Uh, media creation tool like a USB that has Windows 10 on it or a system restore backup disk that has Windows T on it that should be able Windows 10 on it that should be able to get you into uh, safe mode so anyway, once you've done that you can research on the internet that's for a different safe mode is a totally different topic but once you've done that and you've entered safe mode uh, I would go ahead then and switch your computer back to the DVI that was not working because at this point uh, in safe mode the DVI should be working um, and you want to do all your settings for your display while you're, you're using your DVI not your VGA so once you're in safe mode unplug the VGA adapter or the HDMI cord that you're using and re, re plug in your old connector that you were originally using and while you're in safe mode you're gonna go to uh, right click on your display you're gonna go to display settings uh, yeah, in display you're gonna go down to advanced display settings uh, whatever the resolution is for your monitor like mine is 1600 by 900 native uh, that's the one you're gonna choose the problem for me was not actually the resolution a lot of people said changing the resolution fixed the problem for me it was a little deeper than that I had to go to display adapter properties I had to go to monitor once I was in monitor, this said 64 hertz. Now it says 60 hertz, but the screen refresh was saying 64 hertz. And when I clicked the arrow button, there was no option to go to 60 hertz, which I thought was completely stupid and bogus. And then I saw this button here, and it said hide modes, hide modes that this monitor cannot display. So I clicked that checkbox, and then it said clearing this checkbox will allow you to select display modes that the monitor cannot display correctly. This may lead to unusable display or damaged hardware. And I was like, oh, well, I sure hope my hardware is not damaged here. So I clicked that, to, and then I hit apply, and then I hit OK. 
After I did all that in safe mode, I rebooted the computer and my monitor worked again. So uh, if any of you guys are having a really frustrating time getting this to work, I hope that this uh, video, I hope this video finds you before you decide to invest in buying a new monitor or a new DVI cord. Thank you for watching.